In this video, I'll show you how to optimize your functions in JavaScript using a technique called memoization. Memoization is used to optimize the performance of functions by caching or storing the results of expensive function calls and reusing them when the same inputs occur again. This can significantly speed up computations, especially in cases where a function is called repeatedly with the same arguments. Now before I write the logic, it's important to remember that JavaScript memoization mainly depends on two concepts, closure and high order function. You must know these concepts beforehand to understand memoization. So now let's write some code. Consider we have this function named slow function that performs an expensive calculation. We are passing 9999 as the argument. So this function goes through two nested for loops and the inner for loop runs 9999 times each time for the subsequent outer for loop. And then in the end, the final result is returned. You can only imagine how expensive or time consuming this calculation is going to be. In fact, if I add console time and console time end before and after the main console log, you can see the time this function takes to calculate and return the result. Now here, for the same argument, this function call is always going to take that much time. But wouldn't it be better if we could optimize this function in a manner where for the same argument, it doesn't have to recalculate everything again and simply return the result right away. Now that is exactly where memoization comes into the picture. We can use memoization to cache or store the results of expensive function calls and reuse them when the same arguments occur again. To do that, I'll first create a function named memoize that takes a function as its parameter. This function parameter will be the slow function logic that we have here. Within the memoize function, first declare a results variable and initialize it with an empty object. This object will act as the cache that will store the results of the expensive computations when the function parameter is called the first time. So that if the same function is called again, instead of doing the expensive calculation again, we can simply retrieve the result from the cache. Now to be able to do that, I will first return a function from this memoize function. I'll spread any arguments provided to this function as its parameter. And then I'll declare a variable argsKey that will contain the json.stringify value of the argument. This is done so I can get the string version of the args in array format. This will allow me to retrieve values from the results object later on. And note that args itself would be an array, so if 9999 was the parameter, the args would look something like this. And stringifying would look like this. So now we can simply check if the args key or the particular argument is present in the results object or not. If it's not present, we simply put the result returned from the func argument as a value in the results object. And the key of that value would be the args key which is the string version of the arguments. And note that the func parameter is accessible within this return function due to closure. So this means the first time we call the expensive function, we will store its value in the results object and the key of that value will be the arguments passed for that particular expensive call 9999 in our case. And then if the expensive function is called again with the same parameters 9999 in our case, then we simply return the result of args key instead of going to the if condition and recomputing the expensive function again. That's all for this memoize function. Now all we need to do is wrap this memoize function as a higher order function to our slow function. By doing so, the memoize function now takes the expensive function as its argument and the func in memoize becomes nothing but this expensive function. Note that the slow function contains what the memoize function returns, which is nothing but this return function. So if I invoke slow function as it's done here, it invokes this return function and passing it the argument of 9999 maps it to args. So args is now an array containing 9999. So now to show you the effect of this memoize function, I'll call this slow function again with the console time and time end, but I'll name it as second call instead. And now as you can see, for the first invocation it took some time to return the result, but in the second invocation, it took such less time comparatively, usually zero or almost completely zero most of the time. Because for the second invocation, it directly returns the result from the result object instead of recomputing the expensive function. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.